our online classes. Uh, today we are going to discuss a very important topic of English second paper uh, that is connectors. And connectors is not only important for your uh, HSC exam, uh, this is very important uh, for your speaking skill and writing skill. So try to follow this class carefully. So at first we want to discuss uh, the definition of connectors. What do, what do you mean by connectors? So connectors are some words or linking words that are used between uh, some phrases and some sentences to make relationship, to make some connection. That's why they are called connectors. If you look at this example, you can uh, understand the purpose of using connector in sentences. Uh, look at this uh, example. I didn't want to take a side in the argument. Instead, I put my headphones on and listened to music. Try to understand the context of connectors. Here, the connector is instead. I didn't want to take a side in the argument. That means I want it to be neutral. For this reason, that means instead, I put my headphones on and listened to music. So in this context, we have to use instead as a connector. But in another context, we have to use other connectors. So there are variations of uh, there are uh, uh, variation in uses in connectors according to their context, not according to grammatical rules. We have to understand the passage very well. Then we have to use the connector. So there are very, uh, very, uh, various types of connectors, and most common common uh, common types of connectors are first one is connectors for adding. So more, one of the most common uh, connectors. Then uh, we can we will discuss uh, some connectors of contrast and conflict. Contrast, you know, the opposite idea. And then we will discuss uh, the co connectors of similarity. Similarity means uh, uh, similarity means the same characteristics, same types. Connectors for cause and effect. Uh, then we will try to uh, discuss uh, some examples of uh, connectors of cause and effect. Cause and effect means. Uh, for example, if we suffer from fever, our uh, body will be, or uh, uh, the temperature of our body will be high. So here, fever is the cause, and the temperature is the effect. So in this way, we will understand these uh, connectors. And then, last one, we will discuss uh, the connectors of summary or summation. So at first, we uh, we are going to discuss uh, some connectors for adding. Uh, so this type of uh, connectors are used to add some more information about uh, any context or any person or any activity. For example, uh, besides, uh, besides the very common uh, connectors for adding, uh, look at this example, Saki plays football. This is the information, this is an information about Saki. Saki plays football. I, I want to add some more information about Saki, then I have used besides. He works in a hotel. The first information is Saki plays in a uh, Saki plays football. Besides, he works in a hotel. So there are two. There are two information about Saki. Next, we can see that. In addition, furthermore, moreover, all of them are connectors for adding, and we can use them in same context. Where you can use, and in addition, you can also use furthermore or moreover in that context. So if you use moreover and if you find furthermore in your answer sheet or in your solve solution, then don't be upset. Uh, there can be multiple answering connectors. For example, Samuel writes short stories. This is one information about Samuel. Samuel writes short stories. In addition, he writes article for some newspapers. This is another information about Samuel. First information is Samuel writes short stories. And the second information is he writes article for some newspapers. So to add a new information we have used in addition. We could, uh, we could use here uh, further more or moreover but we have used in addition in this context. Next, in the next example, uh, we can notice that the furniture is beautiful, furthermore it is cheap. The first information about the furniture is it is beautiful. And we want to add another information about this furniture that is cheap. So that's why we have used 
Furthermore, I think you have understood the uh, uses of connectors for adding. Next, we are going to the uh, connectors for contrast and conflict. So now we are going to discuss the connectors of contrast or conflict. And, uh, in, in the context of conflict and contrast, we have to use these connectors. Uh, for example, first one, however. Uh, however uh, can be used in this context. Look at this context or example. The restaurant has the best dishes in the city. It's a good quality. The restaurant has the best dishes in the city. However, their staffs are quite unprofessional. So there is a conflict between these sentences. If the first sentence is a good reputation for the restaurant, but the second one is contradictory. That means that their staffs are very unprofessional. That's why we have used a connector for contrast or conflict. Got it? And if we go to the next one, in contrast, on the other hand, on the contrary. All of these connectors are, uh, can be used in same context. So don't forget this uh, rule. In contrast, on the other hand, on the contrary. They are same in their uses. House prices have gone up. House prices have gone up. In contrast, car, car prices seem to be stagnating. <coughs> that means, barit da barche, kinto garit da mula ekono still. So there is a conflict, there is a contrast. The house prices have gone up. In contrast, car prices seem to be stagnating. stagnating. That means there is no change in the price. So this is a situation of conflict and contrast. And next example, or uh, next connector, uh, connector for contrast is virus. Virus uh, in, in term of uh, Bengali, virus means chicken. I use water to make pasta, whereas my mother uses eggs. That means I use water to make pasta. This is my way of making the pasta, but my mother uses eggs to prepare pasta. So there is a conflict between our uh, between our uh, between our process uh, of making pasta. So have you understood uh, this connectors of contrast? So now, uh, now we are going to discuss the connectors of similarity. This is uh, this is very common connectors that we use in our practical life, in our day-to-day uh, -day, day -day life. Uh, this type of connectors are used uh, are used in in the context of similar things, similar uh, idea, similar uh, philosophy, or similar fact. For example, uh, similarly in the same manner, likewise. These three connectors are same in their use. And look at this example. You should respect your parents. You should respect your parents. This is a context. Similarly, you should respect your teacher. You have to respect your teacher in the same manner you have to respect your parents. So there is a similarity. That's why we have used the connectors of similarity here. So here you can use in the same manner, likewise, all of them, all of them will be correct. But we have used similarly here. You should respect your parents. Similarly, you should respect your teacher. Clear? Now look at the next example that is also. Also means O in our in Bengali term. And look at this example. I want to meet Prince Harry. This is the first information. I want to meet Prince Harry. And in the second sentence, look at the connector. Also, I want to meet Prince Harry. So there is a similarity between the information. I want to meet Prince Harry. Also, I want to meet Prince William. So there is a similarity. That's why we have used the connectors of similarity. Now we are going to discuss the connectors of cause and effect. We have already discussed what is the connectors of cause and effect. And they are also called uh, the connectors of result. Uh, for example, the first uh, look at this first connectors. Uh, so for this, as a result, this is why. All of these connectors are same in their meaning and in their uses, but uh, you can use uh, as you wish in different contexts. So for this, as a result, this is why. I have completed a course on first aid. I have completed a course on first aid. 
so I could say this by that time. So this is the cause. The cause is I have completed a course on first day. This is the cause, and the result or effect is I could say this like that time. So here we have used so character. Here we can we could use for this as a result. This is what all of them will be correct. If you use as a result, and if you find so in your solution sheet, don't be upset. Your answer is fine. There are uh, multiple answers possible in characters. Don't forget this thing. Uh, look at the next example that is as or since this uh, this is also a connector of cause and effect or result since he was absent he doesn't know the fact jehetu she onubosthit chilo she seta janena so karon ta holo the cause is he was absent and the effect is he doesn't know the fact here we have used since uh, look at the next uh, last example as you are honest you will be heard जेहतु तुम सब तुम तुम्हें चाकुरी नया हो सो एखे कस्ट होनेस्ट एंड इफ इट इज यूल सो हियर उ नेक्स्ट यू आर गोईंग टू डिसकस अदार कमन कानेक्टर्स दे डोट इनक्लूड टू एन स्पेसिफिक ग्रुप अफ कानेक्टर्स दे आर कमनलि यूज इन डिफरेंट सीचुएशन फार्स्ट वन प्रोवैडेड और इफ इन बेंगल टर्म्स दैट इज जो provided or if look at this example they can listen to music tara gaan shunte parbe they can listen to music provided they disturb nobody jodi tara kaake disturb na kore have you understood the use of provided okay try to use provided in this type of context most importantly uh, it is also can be replaced by primarily But uh, usually we use most importantly, very commonly used connector. A uh, look at this example. If you want to lose weight, you have to follow some rules. If you want to lose weight, you have to follow some rules. There are many rules. Most importantly, you have to avoid sugar. Shop che group to put na hoche, chini theke dure thakar. That is the most important. So when you are going to say something. Which one is the most important uh, uh, th uh, fact? Then you should use this connector most importantly. Look at the example again. If you want to lose weight, you have to follow some rules. Some rules. Most importantly, you have to avoid sugar. Clear? Next, eventually. It will take three months to do it. It will take three months to do it. But she will complete it eventually. She will complete it. It will take three months to do it, but she will complete it eventually. So try to use eventually in, in this type of context. Don't try to memorize characters. Try to understand the situation and context of the passage. Otherwise, your answer will be wrong. The next one, a very common or important one, that is for example. We use this uh, character to uh, give any uh, to exemplify anything or to give any instance or example. Look at this uh, sentence or context. Appreciate the small things that your mother does for you. Tomar ma, tomar jono je choto choto kaj gula kore, she gula jono tumi appreciate korbo tomar ma ke. Appreciation, appreciation da hazar rakam bhabe hote pare. For example, you can thank her now and then. Tumi ta ke mazar modde at least thank you dite thanks dite par. So, on a common appreciation, you know that appreciation example there also. That is, you can thank her now and then. Clear? This is the use of, for example, to make something clear. You, we have to, we have to use some example. So, in that, in that sense, we have to use for example or for instance or such as. All of them are. You can use such as here or for instance. Same use. And last one is unless unless my jodi na that is you don't need to go there unless you want to jodi tomar shekhane jete mon na chaye tomar jawab dorkar nei you don't need to go there unless you want to so uh, there is no uh, limit of connectors today we have discussed the most commonly used connectors for your acc exam but uh, this is a lifelong process you have to learn connectors for your, for the rest of your life and um, Try to uh, enrich your uh, vocabulary of connectors, and uh, 
If you have any question, you can ask me in uh, when the college will be open. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.